In this video, we're going to go through how to create a copy of a SQL Server database using the Backup Restore technique. There are several different ways you can uh, make copy of a database, and we'll have other videos that will show how you could generate the scripts from a database and export the data and that type of thing. Um, but first of all, we're just going to do a backup this database and do a restore. Now this is just a simple simple movie database with a simple design. Um, an actor can act in many movies, a movie can have many actors. Same, a movie can have many genres and there can be many genres. Uh, one, a, a genre can have many movies. Uh, in this particular design, a movie can only have one studio uh, that's enforced here. So if, for example, you wanted to have a movie that had multiple studios, you would have to modify this design in some fashion. Maybe make a bridge table uh, that would be like a movie studio, that type of thing. And then the movie can only have one rating. And you may notice that description is in brackets. That's because DESC is a reserved word. You can use reserved words for tables. It's not necessarily the best practice. Uh, so you might want to rename this column. For another example, we're keeping that in there um, for something subsequent. And then we just have a text description for this diagram. Uh, you can also uh, do a quick edit 200 to see some of the data. And you can see Gene Hackman is the number one actor in this database, as he should be being the number one actor of all time. So what we can do is right-click on Movies, Tasks, backup of the database. And when you're doing a backup, uh, you can do different types of backups. We're going to do a full backup. Uh, this is the location. We're going to disk. Uh, if you wanted to add a different location, you could do that. Uh, if you wanted to change the name and so forth, uh, we're just going to take the defaults. Uh, in terms of the backup options, uh, you put a description on here. Uh, you can put a retention period, uh, compression. This version of uh, SQL Server is Express, so we can't use compression. Um, you could also encrypt your backups if uh, you wanted a security option. We're just doing a quick backup so that we can uh, do the backup restore. So we have made our backup. And now let's create a new database, and let's call it uh, Movie 2. Right-click, New Database, and we'll call it Movies 2. Just taking the defaults. Again, there are different options you could choose, but we're just doing a quick, quick version here. And we have the Movies 2 database, and there are uh, no tables. So it's just a blank database, an empty database at this point. We can do a right-click, uh, Tasks, Restore the database. And let's go grab that database that we had just made a copy of, which was the Movies database. Okay, and we took one just a few minutes ago. Uh, there are various options you can do, but one that's really quite important here is we do the overwrite of the existing database with replace because we're using a database that has a different name. Uh, we could also, uh, for example, restrict access to the restored database which is something we might want to do if we don't want anybody else to be able to get into it, which is quite common in a backup recovery situation in a production environment. Um, you could close existing connections to the destination database. Uh, and you, you might need to do that if someone is logged into the database that you're trying to restore because you need exclusive access. So nobody's logged into it. We're just going to do a restore and it says it's successful. We can go into the tables and do a refresh with a right click. And we can see our tables. And we do a right click, edit top 200. And we can see Gene Hackman. Uh, we'll paste this. This is the diagram from the previous database. We go into the Movies 2. We can now open it up. And there we go. We have the exact same database. So that's using the backup restore.